on has been lacking for a long time now that I've just been putting off and putting off because the stock one has been working fine. But now that we're switching to the 4L80, it's time to replace it. And you can half see the box back there, but I'll show you more when we get to the garage. So I got a hold of the guys at Circle D and they hooked us up with uh, a little bit more than I was expecting. Got a nice pen for the garage now. Oh, no shit. Uh, these are new torque converter bolts. And a t shirt. And I think this was instructions and some stickers. And let's see if I can get this out. And there is the converter, all nice and tucked in there. Now, this is just a 3000 stall, it's the 3000 to 3200 stall. Uh, it's their HP series, which they say will bolt right to the 4853 uh, flex plate, so you don't have to get a 601 and that spacer. They said this will be perfect for what we got going on here. And it was actually their idea to do like a little swag pack giveaway. So we'll do some sort of like comment thing. I'll just pick my favorite one and then we'll do some sort of giveaway. They're going to do like a little swag pack, which will have stickers, t-shirts, probably pens and a little like beer koozie or whatever. But yeah, that was their idea. That wasn't my idea. I'm too selfish to think of you guys, I guess. So leave, I'm just gonna, whichever comment is my favorite, we'll go with that and um, we'll get your information to Circle D and they can ship it out right to you. Uh, that way they can get your t-shirt size and everything. And it'll probably be this same t-shirt. Nice. Yeah. Actually, it's a pretty nice shirt and it's yeah, pretty soft. Yeah, I like the pocket on it. Yeah. So yeah, if you guys want to enter that little giveaway, just leave a comment down below. I'm gonna pick my favorite one. It can be funny. It can it'll probably just be funniest comment, whichever one makes me laugh. Um, try not to hurt my feelings too much. And then I'll pick a winner in one of the next couple videos, and we'll get your information to them. And they'll ship it out to you. But yeah, this was the last piece of the puzzle for well. The last major piece of the puzzle for a uh, for the 4L80 swap, and like I said, this one is uh, three bolts, so it goes right to the 4853 flex plate, which makes it a whole lot easier. This converter is off the shelf, like 600 bucks, I think, so it's super budget too. And I did tell them I've got a supercharged 53 with a cam, and it'll be making like 12, 13 pounds of boost, and they said that'll work perfectly for it so i would definitely consider it i think it's gonna be a pretty sweet unit and then uh he already jumped ahead got the drive shaft out and the transmission pulled i was bored yeah i don't know if we're gonna have time today to actually get the truck completely back together and drive it but we'll get a good chunk of it back together and then if not today in the next video we'll hopefully get it on the road and see how the 4L80 compares to the 60E, how it feels. I'm really curious how the first gear is gonna feel, going from a 306 first to a 248 first. It's a whole lot taller first gear, so yeah. so I have no idea how it's gonna feel. Um, but with that 3000 stall, we'll see. Circle D, a lot of cool guys there. And I definitely appreciate them helping me out on this. They did give me a little bit of a discount, but I did still pay for this.
Yeah, I'm not worried about them. All right, so we got the converter in, transmission all bolted in and finally mounted, wiring, the shifter cable we might have to tweak a little bit. It doesn't want to completely go into park, but we might be able to adjust this, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, it's completely bolted in, drive shafts in. Really, the only things left are starter, exhaust, and tune, I think, and fluid. Um, we got all the lines in. We are running two uh, trans coolers, an aftermarket one, and then through the actual radiator like normal. Everything's looking good, making pretty quick time, actually. Let's see, the only like concerns are the dipstick doesn't want to completely seat. We'll see if it leaks or not. I think we can get up above and smack the top of it. Yeah, probably. Might be able to just force it down the rest of the way. And it'll feel good to smack it. So old girl's getting real close. Just a few more things. All right, the truck is on the ground for the last time for a little bit because there is still things we need to do underneath. Uh, drive shaft safety loops. I want to get different uh, traction bars. I've been talking to speed engineering a little bit about that. But really, the only things left to do to it before we can actually move it around, trans fluid and load the new tune in it. How'd the shifter feel? It's going into park now, but it's going into park down below. Right. Oh, hey. Nice shirt. Oh, hey, yeah. Where'd you get that at? Store. Yeah, if you guys want any merch, first link down below, you can pick some up. We wanna run and get some fluid now? Let's do it. Man, I can't wait to get this thing on the road again. It's been so long. All right, we're gonna go grab some tranny fluid. Probably Dexron 3. It says you can use three or six in the 480, so we'll see what we find. All right, got some Caitlyn Jenner fluid. Start filling the trans up now. And hope it's good. Cause we really have no idea. When I got the transmission, the dude I got it from had it in a storage unit. He said it was sitting there for about two years, I think. I got it for a hundred bucks and some uh, tuning. So I mean, if you count like the hundred bucks, the tuning and all the gas, a little under 200 bucks for it. And it's kind of a mystery. I'm um, fingers crossed that it's good, but we'll find out. So let's see if anything's leaking yet. I don't think so. Oh, I gotta find a spot for those stickers too. Can't forget about that. Yeah, we'll put the white one on the windshield. Probably right up there next to the snake eater sticker. Yeah, that'll look good. Kill that little fucking spider. Cool. Should we see if it starts? It'll probably start kind of rough because it was sitting for so long with the battery out of it.
we're looking good there. We can check for exhaust leaks too. Everything's clearing there. We really need to put a shield on that, but we'll worry about that another time. God, I miss this truck. So nice to hear it running again. Trying to put it in gear. All right. Well, we got reverse and drive. That truck sounds so fucking good. But that's all we're gonna get to do with it today. I gotta head out. Uh, huge thank you to the guys at Circle D for helping me out with that. Don't forget to leave a comment down below to enter that giveaway. Go to Circle D's Instagram, give them a follow too, just because they're cool guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Next one, hopefully we'll be able to actually drive the truck and then we got some stuff for Jack Black coming too. So it should be a good couple weeks. Thank you guys for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.